Right, so can you tell me about the issue of building here in the rural areas or in Murambinda? Yeah, it's like yeah. these guys they've got their own local internet. So you don't need data. To use. You don't need data. Yeah, you don't need you to. don't need data. Yeah. You can buy from the internet app as long as you are within this community. Within this community. Are, are you considering buying solar for installation back home? Kumoja is the easy, safer, and more affordable way to buy solar from the diaspora. Buy now and pay later. Pay in affordable monthly installments. And uh, you can see the fish are running here. Yeah. There's also fish farming there. You so have I, a fish yeah, pond? Yeah, yes, uh, it's like a pool. A pool, yes. Pond, yeah. Is it somewhere close by? It's close, it's close there. Yeah, All right, you can see. you go? Yeah, we can go. Yes. So these guys are... Yeah, we can leave them because you know they might be doing something else. So, guys, they are also doing this. This is millies as well. As you can see, uh, it just came out. What I know, uh, according to my rural experience, you know, I grew up in the rural area. According to my rural experience, this one uh, is around what? Around two weeks, eh? Yeah, one week. One week, So that means it's around a week. All right, so this one is around a week old. So these guys will be having, uh, you know, we are in the southern hemisphere. Uh, it's not yet summer. Uh, I don't know why, but I think according to what we learned in geography, they were telling us that we have two seasons here in the savannah. We've got the winter and the summer. We don't have the autumn or spring or anything like that. But as for us now, as Africans, We've got something that we call Chirimo. Huh? So right now it's not Chirimo uh, because this time uh, farming activity. So this is something that is actually extraordinary in this region of the world because you will, we won't be having any rain or anything like that. But these guys are doing irrigation. That's why they are doing irrigation. So this is the fish pond. This is the fish pond, Andy. Yes. So they've got a fish pond here. Uh, it's, it's a natural one though. It's not a man-made one. So, we don't about fish. Yeah, so we are supposed to show you the fish, but now right. it's not sunny. All right. They need, they need, they need sun a lot. All right. So when it is like, so can hide. All right. Yeah. So it's a fish pond. So is it like very? Deep. Uh, All right. Because yes, for me, I don't know how to swim. So. <laughs> oh, there are two. All right. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm actually seeing some fish in this. So they've got a natural pond. This one. And we have another one. So are you also taking water from this one? You would need it so. All right. Then we have got another one here. Huh? It's a natural. It's a natural one. Eh? It's a natural one. Okay. Yeah. So this one is a natural pond. Mm -hmm. They have fish. Some of them are better. Yes, we can fish them. All right. Using some ah, yeah. I saw. Mm -hmm. I saw like. Yeah. There ah, are some big fish here. All right. So what, uh, I want to get a variety of uh, fish. All right. Those ones are just um, the kind of fish which is that we have here. Uh -huh. We just found them naturally in the river. All right. But they can breed very fast and can get yeah, about six months of big like this. Oh. Mm. All right. Without feeding them. <laughs> Without feeding. Yeah. So it's like you just get natural. Yeah. Uh, need gra grass. All right. So rotten leaves. Yeah. All right. So what these guys like? What this fish does is you just uh, go and fish. And you go, you go. You don't <laughs> need to do anything. Anything. This is good fish. So do you sell them? We sell them. All right. It's like when we use castings, then yeah. we can go and sell them. All but right. it's just for fun. It's like we don't have money to go to resort areas. Yeah. So we can just choose another weekend away, but we can come and enjoy ourselves here. Oh. And do oh. Our fishing and I like it. Fishing competition. Oh. And other friends of mine. This one comes from Ramina. Oh. And get the fun. Ah, that's Since nice. Under this shade. You can see. Uh, locally, they are not, there's no green yet. Eh? Uh, but, but it's green here. It's green here. Yes. This so is interesting, guys. I am loving this one. We preserve our trees. 
but other villagers they don't know how to preserve them. They can just cut down trees. Well, so this one is your own area. Yeah. So, so it's like no one else can say, I want to take this one is mine or no, anything like that. No one. So, so, so uh, to our little parents. So all right. Let me see. That means if you want to make it some kind of area, is what you can, right? Okay, yes. Yeah, because you know what? If you've got this, you are good. And uh, maybe have some space where people will be doing bribe. Bribe, yeah. Yes. They pack we, their we cars. Want, yeah, sure. We want to do it. And it was, it was something else. It was something yeah, else. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so, guys, you see what? You, you can actually do these things. Because I know a lot of people will be mm. saying, you know, I've got this pond, I've got this farm, mm. I've got this place where my parents, uh, you know, my parents left me, but I'm sitting in an area, I don't know yeah, what to do. Yeah, know. You can do these things. Because remember, yeah. we, are, we are almost around, what, 5, 10 kilometers from, from Morambinda. Yeah. Yes. So if people in Morambinda, they can come and do, you know, uh, recreational activities here. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't, we don't need to overpopulate urban areas. Right? Yeah. It's like the, the government of Zimbabwe is done everything well yeah. there is a rural electrification yeah. so we use that chance to electrify our rural home all right and then we do all these projects that's good so if you left it behind it's up to you it's your problem it's your problem i didn't go to any place but you you are um, doing <laughs> and you've got your business so he's got his business in murambinda right, so can you tell me about the issue of building here in the rural areas or in murambinda yeah, it's like a building here in Murambinda. Yeah. We built like Murambinda is going is now a town. Yeah. So which means this radius it it, it took a ten kilometers radius. All right. Which means we are part of, of Murambinda the town. town. <laughs> so All right. mm. uh, it doesn't take uh, five years to be a, a town here. Yeah. I know it is going to. Be very soon oh, people are going yeah. to be saying, you know, there are houses, people yeah, yeah. are going to be given houses. But uh, the council, they cannot just search us away yeah. uh, easily. Right. But if, if, we develop, if we develop this area, yeah. which means we are going to, it's, it's going to be ours. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. So if it is developed, they won't come and take it. Uh, they won't come and take it. They can just charge us a, a little money. All right. So, that, All right. so there's, there's this issue of people saying, uh, I have got ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars. I want to find a, a stand in Arare, but I've got twenty thousand. What can I do here with twenty thousand instead in, of going in, and... in, 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 uh, if, if you have twenty thousand, which means uh, yeah. you have a lot of money to build a good house yeah. here in, in Rambin, yeah. because it's quite cheaper yeah. to build in rural. All right, you have a variety of you have farm bricks, yeah. otherwise, if you want to do those uh, common bricks, yeah. they are quite cheaper again. But how much? How much is the? A thousand uh, of bricks is yeah. costing forty US dollars or thirty-five US. Thirty-five dollars. Yes. Thousand. Do you know we are buying those things for hundred dollars or? <laughs> yeah, maybe those are. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Special if, ones. <laughs> yeah, but still, if you can get, let's say, if you want ten thousand, you need three hundred and fifty dollars. Three hundred. But if you want ten thousand, you need one thousand dollars. Yes. So that is the big difference. Yeah, that yeah, is very big cheaper. difference. Even this kind of gravel yeah. is still available. Yeah. So it's cheaper. Yeah. It's very cheap. Yeah. More than just getting it from. You know when you're buying from Marare. So I'm not I'm not trying sand, it's just along the river. Yes. There's a plant of sand river sand. So you guys I'm not trying to say you should not build your house in the in Arare or anything like that. I'm just giving you another option, which is probably easier and cheaper for you. Because if you come here you've got a land like this, you know, what about a raw electrification like what you said? They are doing projects as you can see. Uh, that means all year round. You'll be able to be able making, to money. Uh, making money. Yeah. And again, yeah. unlike uh, yeah, you, can, you can continue. Yeah. In Arad, it's overpopulated. You see. Yeah. The issue of sewer system. Yeah. Here, you can make your own sewer system, which is well modernized. All right. You don't have any problem. How do you do that? This, for a, so you build a septic tank. Oh, in the soccer way. All right, yeah. so you can start using yeah, your flash, uh, trailer, flash trailer. system. Yeah, we are going to build it very soon. All right. We're going to see it. Oh, that is that is very interesting. You guys, you know what? Uh, these things, we are showing you reality. <laughs> eh? We're not just talking about things that we don't know. Look here, these guys, they've got projects. They are doing some nice projects. They've been having 
weed imagine weed i didn't know i didn't even think about it what you you, someone can hear you want to say something okay there's a big fish here yeah. yeah 500 i think you know what i'm here in the video so one guy in a weed up 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 in the madomas and this is okra again Yes, yeah, this is okra. Eh? Mm -hmm. So this is okra. They were having okra. And and I think you guys know. Okra, uh, you know, there's something that is happening with Zimbabweans. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's it's expensive to get traditional food in Zimbabwe. Like, very expensive. <laughs> so there were some fish. I said that I didn't get a chance to take it. All right. So, uh, a lot is happening, guys. I need to tell you, you need to make sure you give yourself a chance to come and explore some of these places. You have your mind open and you have your mind blown by what people are doing. Because, you know, this is, you know, these are tomatoes. I'm actually in a tomato uh, space. Eh? Uh, Papa in a wheat. Papa in a wheat. And then that page is yeah, a dark. I think they are putting something else up. I'm not sure. Then above, uh, those are onions. That are the green part. And ma chibage, which means in December they are going to be saying chibage chiripo. Uh, so we are not sure that you and na and na so. But when you come to my rural areas, I also shy. Don't put the. There's a nature so that man that when they come, also there is a problem. People usually say that I'm not home. I'm not home. I'm not home. So people mm. think that I'm not home. So I'm not home. It's the end. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can see, and as you can see, not only uh, uh, community communities benefiting kuno by internet through just kungo timunar kuita Facebook. Oh, our Congo it has a Congo Nakiro as entertainment, yes. but actually through connectivity, whatever fun produce, yeah, good, 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 Look at that rural home. This one, eh? you can see this one. This rural home, these guys they've got internet, internet eh, which is different from your, you know, you know that internet. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. These guys they've got their own local internet. You know, I think you might have been seeing where we have been. Right now we are around five or so kilometers away from uh, the base station. I think you saw the video that I was doing. We were on top of a mountain. Mm -hmm. So it's going for around 40 kilometer radius. There are people who are doing irrigation. These guys, they are doing irrigation, but they are doing it small scale at their own uh, place, right? There is a commercial irrigation place. We are going to be going there. We'll show you. So that place, uh, these guys, these farmers, they actually come and uh, market their produce on an application which is available locally here in Murambinda. It's called to my it's called to my app. To my app. Yeah. So these guys it's it's something else. You know it's very interesting. They have got a self sustaining community. Yeah? yeah. Where they can you know even the students I actually where they can do yes. So yeah. with with the to my app, uh, yeah. since it's built for the community network, yeah. you don't need internet. So you don't need data to use you don't need data yeah you don't need you to. don't need data to yeah, yeah. so data. even if you do not have data yeah. you can buy from the internet app as long as you are within this community, within this community. and we are saying we want to to uplift uh, communities yes. so it means that within that uh, affordable setting yeah. people can actually market their products people can actually consume other people's products paying yes. for them we can actually have people uh, who are trained yeah. by Zimbabwe community networks to develop these applications yeah. that will help the community so we have talent within our communities uh, yeah. uh, local communities within Zimbabwe we also have um, gifted others who are educated in the universities yeah. who can actually develop uh, local applications local like, like WhatsApp, like, WhatsApp for this community app. yes uh, to the extent that people should look for their goats and cattle through an application yes. that tracks their 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 goats and cattle in within that location. community free of internet yes yeah, you know you know internet. this one i i believe is actually a revolutionary yeah. 
uh, idea, invention. It's a brilliant idea mm. because these guys are actually able to access the internet and, uh, using a local network. Yeah. And this local network, that means even Mananingwari in those school, in like in the you know the the remote areas of this community, they have got access to even education. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, research session. If you want to research, they have got libraries. I've been hearing that if yeah. they want to read or research, yeah. even the hospitals as well. Even the hospitals. How, how is it benefiting the hospitals? Well, obviously, uh, since this works in two, All right. the part where you can actually connect to the internet and yeah. the part where your phones are actually connected within the community, the community network, network where you don't even need the internet to communicate. Oh, so yeah. with the internet part, mm. actually at the hospitals, you know, the internet is a very essential um, yeah, it's, it's commodity very... that that is consumed on a daily basis to ensure that service delivery is smooth. Yes. So we are talking about um, sending of emails, communication, we are talking about even... Uh, they even sharing of data, data. Yeah. and you know uh, the ministry of health has also introduced what they call electronic health records right. if you have seen and visited some other districts they are now entering in a tablet your information all right which is shared via a local cell yeah. and they can actually also share that information with, with uh, maybe the national office with other partners all through right. internet so if we have our hospitals, if, our, if we have our clinics directly uh, connected, connected yeah. to the internet, then yeah. it's a plus for us. It will actually smoothen the process of ensuring that uh, our healthcare system is technology driven. Yeah. You know, we are now getting online machines. Yeah. We, are not, we, are not, we are now talking about e-health. Yeah. Ever since we had the COVID-19 pandemic, you know, there was no movements. We, we, people were doing electronic, electronic, electronic uh, yeah. uh, health servicing, whereby people were actually at first receiving messages about COVID and even uh, receiving reminders yeah. about taking their medications. That yeah. really uh, worked for even those um, who are affected by HIV yeah. to ensure that they get the support that they were getting yeah. physically from the nurses, whereby uh the, the 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 physical support groups were turned into whatsapp groups, WhatsApp groups. and people are actually supported through uh those internet platforms you know this is this yeah. is revolutionary guys it's, it's revolutionary. 2023 yeah. 2023 you need to be you know getting into these things that have got to do with uh, the internet of things yeah. because this is where we are going we are not going to go back yeah. there is no going back you need to make sure that you uh, continue to learn about these things. Because I believe if we get to have more and more of these uh, things or uh, uh, discoveries or introductions of... Let's, let's All right. Yeah. So, uh, it, uh, you know what? Yeah. Uh, a lot of people mm -hmm. uh, don't realize how important... We're going to need... What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, unless, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna find anything else, but. Uh, I'm not gonna find anything else. Yeah, good. Ah, guys, I'm so excited to see this. Eh? Mm. These guys, they've got a nice rural home. Mm. Uh, they've got uh, irrigation. Mm. As you can see, they were doing wheat. Like I said, I used to think wheat in it when you were. When I'm going to my city, I'm going to my parents. I'm going to my villa. What's it? Yeah. But you can actually do with small scale. Come on, boys. Yeah. If you can actually do it small scale, it's good. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. Uh, this is actually not the primary thing also that you can get. All the right. wheat itself. All right. But uh, whatever the other byproducts can be used for stupids. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, That's what you're that yeah. well. so within this space, mm. you can actually grow what you consume or sell and actually after processing some of the the the, the things you the crops uh -huh. you'll be left with stock feed all right and actually you can have a small space that is self-sustaining all right whereby even uh, you saw the fisher uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. just small space yeah you just need a small space yeah. you just need a small space uh -huh. whereby you can actually do all types of farming yeah, boys, yeah. look at this one. Fish farming. These guys are doing fish. Yeah. They've got fish. They have wheat. They have kettle. They have kettle. They, they, have they also have kettle. Yeah. Uh, that's the kettle crow there. Yeah. And also they have goats. Yeah. Uh, this is what? What? 
this one, no, I don't know. Eat beetroot. Right. Eat beetroot. Oh, so yeah. these guys have got beetroot. They have onions, yeah. Uh, onions as well. They have, uh, that's mealy, millies. <laughs> millies. So, uh, they are preparing this. This one is also a lane that is being prepared. I don't know what they are going to be putting there, but as you can see, uh, there's no such thing as Gushai. Gushai. Yeah. And what we are saying is that yeah. uh, to, to get this type of land, you don't need to pay any money. <laughs> Imagine! Yeah, this is uh, what the freedom fighters fight we fought for. Yeah, that's Not land in Harare. They fought for land here in yeah. the Royal. Yeah. So, and yeah. you get it for free. You, can just, you get it you for just free. Go and talk to the, yeah, yeah. What you need to do is just peace the ancestors. Yes, yeah, all the village head yeah, yeah. Uh, with a small token of a god, of you, you can actually start your own project like this, like this, where you come from. Well, imagine if you can get land like this. Yeah, and we are not can... saying people. We are not saying we should move people from where their families are. Apana muna sina kumusha, like we say in short. Everyone, every Zimbabwe comes from somewhere where they call kumusha. Yeah. In kumusha, there is what? There is land there. And there is a sapu. And there is a sapu. You there. can go there and say And there is your, actually by the virtue of you coming from there. Isn't. So people in Zimbabwe, yeah. they have a tendency of only knowing about their village when they want an ID. Can Knowing I, about their sabuku, is, where they are getting an ID, uh, yes, I, but they forget that that sabuku actually has land reserved for them by yes. the virtue of coming from. Uh, yeah. there's, there's a gentleman that uh, I want us to visit from this place. All right. Yes. He came mm. up with a term called Nakanomics. Nakanomics, mm. that's Nakanomics. interesting. Uh, right. uh, so, like you see, this this land guy, uh, this is the land for our forefathers. All right. Uh, so, this is Nak. Naka. Legas, oh, inheritance. Oh, Naka. Naka. Yes. Naka. All right, it's Naka. Naka N -H -A. nomics. Yeah. Naka is Naka. 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 for economics. Naka. Yeah. That's very, so, very interesting. It, like it's converting now yeah. those rural homesteads into business entities. All right. Through Naka. Yeah. You can your economy yeah, yeah, yeah. you can contribute even to national, national economies, national economies. <laughs> that's very true you know what you've got the land already exactly yeah. and exactly. Uh, you 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 Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's, it's quite interesting. Thank you guys. I think I'm going to watch it. So we are going to the next one. <laughs> are you considering buying solar for installation back home? Kumoja is the easy, safer, and more affordable way to buy solar from the diaspora. Buy now and pay later. Pay in affordable monthly installments. Get approval decision within minutes. Get your solar once you pay just your deposit. Don't just buy solar with Kumoja. Get help with your other projects back home too. Kumoja, building back home. Easier, safer, and better. WhatsApp, plus 4477-634-98401. Visit our website on www.kumoja.com.